Hello and welcome back to a bit more Rebel Cops. So today we'll be playing through another mission and hopefully getting it to go just a little bit smoother this time. So first things first, we're going to visit the merchant, I believe. Yes. And absolutely vital things that we need. Right, so we probably need some more revolver ammo, I would guess. We could do with some pistol ammo. I'm just cautious about how much money we have. Now we absolutely need batons, but ba batons. Batons, whatever the hell they're called. We absolutely need those. That's 460, I think. Probably not much else I want. Maybe we take a lockpick just in case. And then can we sell anything? Is there anything worth selling that we have? We have a lot of revolver ammo, actually. We might not need to buy two of those. Maybe just the one. Nah, we'll keep it. It'll come in handy, right? Did that? Oh my god, that got rid of everything, didn't it? Alright, well, we can figure it out from what we had. That's Oh, I did have a pistol ammo. I think that's everything. I think that's all we had. The batons are the most important things. They are super useful, and I did not make enough use of them last time out. So, let's go to the next mission then, which is the photo studio. Victor Zuev took over a photo studio and is using it as a front for making fake documents. Ernest Burfalk, the former owner of the studio, promises a good reward if Zuev's gangsters can be driven out of the area for good. You got it, buddy. We're on it. So, your cops get tired after going on a mission. You can tell from their portraits. Tired cops will fully recover if they skip the next job, but if you take them on another mission, don't expect them to be at their best. Alright, okay, so we might have to leave some of the best cops we have behind, unfortunately. Which, given how poorly the last mission went, might not be great. I should mention as well that one of my main objectives here is to get that street cred up. We need the public on side, and uh, killing those innocent guards in the last episode did not help that. Alright, let's have a look then. Photo Studio. The Burfolk... Oh, God damn it. The Burfolk Photo Studio is well known, even outside of Ripton. Exhibitions of popular pho uh, photographers and artists are held there from time to time. The most recent exhibition was attended by none other than Paul Sh... What? There needs to be a vowel between the H and the P there. Shp spaget? Spaget, I guess. Paul Spaget, movie star of the Bloody Shirt series. Everything changed with the arrival of Victor Zuev. His men seized the studio and installed a machine for making forged documents in one of its back rooms. Now, instead of photos, Ernest Berfalk stamps driver's license for a long line of John Smiths. The photo studio is well guarded, but they're not exactly expecting guests. If you can handle everything quietly, then there shouldn't be any problems. But if you give them a chance, the criminals will surely call in backup. Alright, sounds good. And... Uh, we've got another... This is Ernest Berfalk himself, then. Uh, the photo studio is my life, and Zuev's people took it from me. I'll do whatever you want, just help me get it back. Well, we are obviously going to help for free. That Our main thing isn't the cash, it's the street cred. And Duval Jr. It looks like we're getting a sniper for this mission, then, just judging by what he's holding here. I heard your regular sniper got called away. Didn't get called away, he stole from us and left us in our moment of need, but sure, Duval will be nice about it. So I figured this is my chance to serve our town. Anyway, there is no other work here. A keen eye runs in our family. My dad was a sharpshooter, and I'm even better. Dad turned out to be a criminal, and now he's living outside Sharpwood at Nastrond Correctional. But I'm a normal guy. I didn't inherit his problems. I can turn a marsh rat into a cloud from a mile and a half away. That has to be a Star Wars reference there. Swamp rat. You know, anyone. And I believe you got a few marsh rats need killing. Sure do. Alright, so it doesn't look like we're getting a side mission on this one, at least. Uh, so let's have a look then. That's not what I wanted to click. I want to take people. So, yeah, you can see all the guys are a bit sort of downtrodden. Probably more that they haven't got their hats on. But, I, I mean, can I afford to take all ones on this? Probably not, right? So here's my thinking. We take Bulker. And maybe we take Boone as well. I don't know what it means by they won't be at their best, by the way. Is it just their stats are lower, maybe? Let's have a look. What's Bulker's stats? No, no, no. They're pretty good. 
I, I don't know then. I don't know what is going to be different. Uh, as for the rest of them, obviously we're going to take all the rookies. So Brick Breaker, Panini, Cagliostro, and Rogue. Sorry, Samastian, you're not in, buddy. But we need to equip these guys with some guns. So, Bulker. Should we give you the pistol since you're the best shooter anyway? More accurate and reliable than a revolver though, so maybe we should give a pistol to someone who isn't that accurate in the first place. So let's give you the revolver and a baton, obviously. Flashbang, sure, why not? Revolver ammo, revolver ammo, and I think you're good. You're good with that? Sweet. Lionel Boone, you're getting a revolver too, buddy, and... More revolver ammo. Baton, more revolver ammo. You can have the lockpick, or one of them. And I think you're good. Right, Michael Brick Breaker. You wanna be my pistol guy? I assume none of you have any stats. So yeah, you can be my pistol guy. There's your pistol ammo. Also, uh, Baton. Uh, do we give you a lockpick as well? Sure, why not? On to the next, Mitch Panini. Now, is there any benefit to having a revolver over a shotgun? Effective at short distances. Maybe I'd rather have a revolver. No, let's go with a shotgun. Let's. Oh, we can have both. Oh. That changes things significantly. Although, it will be said there's only four shells for that thing, so... You better be, uh, better be a bit careful with the old ammo there, buddy. Are we out of guns again? Oh, yeah, because I've given him two. That makes sense. Are we out of batons again, though? Gee, I thought we had batons for everyone now. Maybe we didn't get back... Livets, who died. Can we get one more? Do we have enough money for that? $88? hundred and ten. No. All right, Alice. Well, uh, good luck. As it stands, you're not actually getting a weapon, but you are. And I, you can have a knife. If you get in that much trouble, you can have a knife. But I'm hoping that someone will always be with her so she doesn't have to use it. All right, that looks like the team. It's not a great team, but it's a team. All right, let's go. See how this goes. Now, I've had a little bit of a conversation with someone else who's played this game. Not, uh, I've asked him not to include any spoilers. But what he has said is a lot of the missions are very long, so we may have to break some of these up into parts instead of doing full missions sometimes. So I'll see how this goes. I'm, I'm going to give this maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe, and we'll see where we're at. So, Bulka, I don't know quite how, like, her, her performance is going to be worse this time than it was last time. I, feel like this. I don't mean like her performance was bad last time. I'm just wondering what this whole she's tired from the last mission thing is. All right, Panini, where you going, buddy? And where do we have to get as well? This looks like a short mission, actually. This looks like it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple one to do here. Got it. There's not a hell of a lot of cover around, though. Like, if I want to go forward, this is kind of the only spot. Every, everywhere else is, like, going to get me spotted. Let's get behind this truck. My concern is that... Uh, hello. This guard here, or this suspect here, sorry, turns around and just sees everyone if they're not in cover, so... Probably going to have two teams of three going opposite ways. Oh, we've got Duval as well, of course. So I don't quite understand how the sniper works. I believe he can scout as well as shoot. But can he do it every turn? Oh, we could take that shot, but it'd be loud, I assume. Still, it's going to be super useful when we get caught, inevitably. That guy's moving the other way. Not ideal. Alright, should we push up to the car? Affirmative. He may see in a second, but I doubt it. I don't really want Boone to push up anywhere. 
What I what I want with uh, Cagliostro, by the way, fantastic name, love it, is to go in this bush shelter, but that apparently is outside the map. So instead, he's going to take up Bulker's old position. Probably going to hold with Boone, because I if I go here and that guy walks back, we're, we'll get spotted. Probably not worth the risk. Ah, interesting. There's danger over here. Watch where you're going. Can we get to there without being spotted in any way? Yes. Now, if I run to here, chances are he'll get suspicious, but he probably won't you bet. see us immediately. Oh, shit. There's another one right there. Okay. This could be bad. It is what it is. We're here now. This is the way we're going. Everything else... I don't think I want to do anything else. Don't think we're on a specific turn timer. It's shift, isn't it? It's check. Just neutralize all criminals, so... This one's a lot less strict than the first mission by the look of it. Unfortunately, these guys are moving as a two right now. move Cagliostro up to there, maybe? Jesus Christ, it keeps scaring the hell out of me when it pans to someone else. I can't get either of these two without the other one noticing. So, probably going to hold again. This guy will notice. I mean, we're just, gonna, we're just basically going to skip the turn. Like, what else do you do? Everyone's being watched by someone. Right, now we can get him. And him. Uh, he's moving the other way, though. Which is less than ideal. I'm terrified about that guy turning around again. Right, you have a baton, though. So. Hey, Mr. Criminal. You bet. This is still not a great spot to be in, because if this guy turns around up here... Uh, he'll obviously see everything. If he doesn't, we're all good. But then hopefully the sniper can start taking people out, so... Win-win. Okay. As for these guys, I honestly don't know how I'm going to do this. I could freeze him, but it's only 50-50, and I don't want to get spotted just yet. That's the problem, is like... When do you take the risk and get spotted? And I don't feel like now's the time. Don't you dare turn around, buddy. Thank you, good sir. Oh, this has all worked out very nicely all of a sudden. Right, so we're going to go over here first and get the arrest off where we know what we're doing. On your knees! That's right, on your knees. And we're going to move in behind Got this it. truck. Which should be good. There is a guy, like, here, but... He'll turn around. I still don't think he'll see. I still don't think he has that range of vision. I could be wrong. I don't see anywhere else to go with these guys, though. So instead... Yes, we're going to go and get him. There's another guy right here somewhere. Understood. All right, dude. You bet. Might as well come around the side of this car now, because if she gets spotted, we all get spotted. Got it. Oh, cock. That was the wrong guy. I thought we'd moved on to him. And that's fine. Still works out exactly the same. We're just being very cautious here. Very cautious. I don't want this to go as badly as it went last time. I think we're good. Right. We get the arrest off and then we run, I guess. So we can't get away to there, so we'll move you back and then move the other guy up. 
We move Cagliostro up. I assume this is the guy that was over here. So hopefully by moving him to there, we should still be safe. He's being watched, so if that was into immediate danger, we would have known. Move you to the other end of the car. And your turn's done. Can we get... Oh. We can't get to him. I don't like being quite this cautious, but... I feel like it's necessary. Also, I'm kind of worried that this guy's going to come down and see us. But whatever, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, does he not see? All right, we're good. Stop! I don't know how he doesn't see. But sure. Okay. Thanks for walking right there and arrest. I'm taking you in. Perfect. Can we run to there without being seen? It looks like we can. And we'll get you behind this car. There, I know it's a sprint for one extra space, but I think that's fine. I'd rather be in that position, so. As for you, buddy. Affirmative. Go in debt. What do you mean you're going to be spotted? Oh, there's another one? Well, we can't do that then. Hmm. Leaves us in a bit of a tricky spot. I'm just going to move, like, one up the truck, so if this guy comes down here, he might not see us. And then end it again. We're making some headway, but it's very cautious. Also, I think I just dropped my mouse on the table a minute ago, and that probably came across in the mic, so I apologize for that. Uh, where can we make it to that's safe? Probably, like, there, but can we do it with you slightly better? Okay. Yeah. Nobody's going to see that. And nobody's going to see that. So now we have a proper view on that guy, so we know when he's facing whatever way. Got it. We'll move you up to there. Just don't know how to get him without... Because all the guy's movement isn't enough. If I could run there and hit him this turn, I might do it, but it's just not close enough. So this this left flank isn't going to do anything until this flank pushes up. I'm sure there's way more of this level as well than just this area. All right, that guy's walking away. Do we just wait for him to come back, or do we go balls to the wall with this? All right, we're doing it. Crazy move. Cagliostro! All right, you can move up now, uh, Boone. I guess we'll move Bulker behind this cover. It's only half cover either way, and that's slightly closer to where I need it to be. Everyone else, stay put. He's moving away. That guy's coming back, but he won't look. That's fine. That guy's coming back. All right, we get this guy this turn then. Probably there is the best. Hey, I know you see me. And it doesn't matter. Right, we'll push up with Boone. Bulka can get behind this. Just uh, methodically making our way. We can move you back to there, I guess, because that might help at some stage. But other than that, not much left to do this turn. That guy's going to turn around, which is fine. We might be able to reach him this turn. I don't know. 
can definitely arrest this suspect. Face on the floor! Obviously. And we kind of need to, otherwise he's going to tell them all. Oh, why? Why is that range just wrong? You got it. I wonder what's inside. Can we have a look inside? So where's the where's the door that we're going to be going in through? Probably here. So let's have a look. Here's what I picked up on the scope. So we get that every three turns. So we should absolutely have done it earlier. We'll know for future. I would move to here, but he's going to walk this turn, so I don't think that's a good idea. In fact, we're going to move one this way. Just to get even further out of his way in case he spots. Which he hasn't, so that's good. If I move there, this guy's going to spot me, isn't he? None of this quite lines up. Which is a damn shame. None of this quite lines up. Oh. I mean, we gotta make a move, right? Or do we? I I don't know when this guy turns around. This is a this is a nothing turn. If I knew if that guy was gonna walk further forward or turn around, I would have done something. He works. He walks further forward. For future reference, he walks f further forward. For f f f f further forward. What the hell is that? Throw. Throw a clip to a partner. Cool. All right, you are getting arrested now, though, buddy. Well, you're not actually getting arrested, but uh, same same basic idea. Got it. I guess we should start making a move for the door with this guy. I don't think there's anything else to do again. Taking him out one by one, slowly, methodically. That guy's going to come back. Learning the pattern's actually quite a big deal in this. So we get that arrest. You got a head, hands behind it, huh? Kind of just needs to get to cover. If she had two, I'd run her to somewhere like here and we can get him. But she doesn't. In fact, he's going to go one more that way. We'll get to here. Like I say, learning the patterns. He can't spot you behind that? Awesome. That gives me enough cover not to be spotted. That's fantastic. Right. Anyone, anyone else doing anything? No. Oh, actually, this guy should have moved. Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. Push up to the building. Right away. We can have a look at the next room as well. Took a peek in oh, jeez. That is a packed corridor full of guys. There's another door around the other side. That might be an idea to get a team around there. Everyone else, hold your horses. This guy's going to come back. This is the turn we get here, I feel. Because you are going to be close enough. Hell yes. Hello. Will do. Right, I think we start running around the other side. Done and done. See what we can find. That guy's going to move one further away. So oh, we'll get here. We'll see what the arrest, uh, the freeze is. 100%. Perfect. Don't Fine, then. We don't even need to wait another turn for that. Move you over here. Right, now we're getting some movement. Got it. You can come to here, but you're probably going to go around with the other guy. With Cagliostro over here. Who does he just hold? 
No. Okay, we can get this thing on the desk, but my concern is you might be seen through the door. But I think we're good. Silver flask. Something we can sell. I thought it'd be info, but no. Done and done. Don't get spotted, don't get spotted, don't get spotted. Something interesting here. I think we're good. Alright, that's the turn. First turn we've actually moved everyone, <laughs> I think. Or uh, since since the start of the mission anyway. Alright, so we can arrest you. Hands behind your head! I don't mean to speak too soon, but right now we're going to be getting some street cred back. This is another arrest. The ground. 50 XP for Panini. Make your own joke about cheese and ham or something, I don't know. Move you to here. I don't think there's any more enemies in this area, so... Pushing up right now isn't too risky. You are absolutely not moving, buddy. There is no way. But uh, Rogue can push to here. She's going to be going with Cagliostro. And then that's the turn. I don't know how we get all these guys without being seen, but we're going to try. All right, I got it. There appears to be no enemies anywhere down this way. But what we will do is we'll scout the room that we're heading for. Took a peek inside. Yeah, it looks fine. Got it. Oh, you're not going that way. You're going this way. Of course, of course. Need to remember my own plan. I so rarely do. Uh, okay. Understood. In fact, we've got six. I should probably send him around the other way as well. There's not a third. Oh, there's another door here. Okay. Probably need teams of two then. So these two are going to go in this door. These two are going to go in the far door. Sweet. It all works out, and Cagliostro is not moving this turn. Somebody is watching her back, so I'm fairly okay with her running. Because it would tell me if something bad was going to happen okay. there. Same with Boone. Got it. Brick Breaker and whoever this guy is. Panini are going to move towards this door here, and we're going to go in with the these two. Panini, uh, Cagliostro is not moving, okay. and Rogue is going to go there. Some of these names are great, by the way. Brick Breaker, Panini, Cagliostro, and Rogue. Sweet. So you've got one guy patrolling. We can take him out without that guy noticing, I think. So my guess was this room was empty. It will still be empty. That is my guess. Looks good. Affirmative. So we are now in the building in two spots. Can we get in this door or no? You have to have a lockpick. Is that what it is? Roger. Just open. Under Oh! <gasps> Hello, gentlemen. What a nice day it is. Oh, well, I couldn't see that there were steps there. All right. Could tell him to freeze with 100%, but his buddy would see, so obviously not going to do that. Going to move in with Rogue. And then end the turn. I kind of want them all pinching from the sides at the same time. So what can we do here? We can get him, and then can you get the other guy? Yes. And you both have batons, batons, right? Right away. 
Done and done. Sweet. Roger. I feel like I've learned some of my lessons from the first episode here. We obviously can't do anything particularly right now. We'll move to there and we'll move uh, Rogue up here. To be ready to freeze this guy or whatever when we need to. But realistically, that won't be for another turn, I don't think. Get Bulker in behind here. We'll get this guy the other side. As soon as we can. Boone. Boone and Bulker are going to be in for a break after this one as well. Uh, and then we need to probably check out some of the other rooms just in case. So... This one is my most pressing concern, I guess. There's another guy in there. Okay. For, like, uh, for crossing, I need to know where they are. Alright, so arresting is obviously the first thing we're going to do. I'm taking you in! I think we're going to get quite a few, uh... Quite a few level ups from this one, hopefully. People are getting a lot of XP. We're not doing much wrong. Looking good so far. All right, we need to probably grab some cover. Okay. We're not going to be pushing uh, with these guys much for a little bit until we've sorted out some of the other spots. Do I feel capable of taking out this guy before the other guy comes back? The answer, I feel, is no. So we're just going to get ready. Done and done. I like this mission because there's no turn timer, so I feel like we're all right. Yeah, we can just take our time. Basically, no one's going to do anything this round except take the Bloody Tears Hot Tomato Sauce. Which I guess is a saleable item. I guess we can get some money out of that. Sure. And then we're going to do nothing again. It's all about patterns at this stage, where guys are going. Obviously, if we had a turn timer, this would be a lot more stressful, a lot more panicked. I'd be moving people around a lot faster but we don't. So the idea is to wait until this guy has his back turned going down the corridor this way again. And then we can arrest this guy and take them all out, I guess. We also have another glance at a room. Here's what I picked up on this. Another guy in there. That's fine. Obviously, we can't do anything this turn. This is the turn. I feel like a spring chicken. Hey, buddy. I feel like a spring chicken. You're going to stay. In fact, everyone else is just going to stay. What do we want to get to here? We probably want to get to here. Will do. And get ready to take out this guy in here. I knew he was there. That wasn't a surprise. Alright, uh, and end the turn. Then Bulker is going to pull off the arrest. On the ground. And then we're going to hide her away. Can we take this guy this turn? It looks like it, yeah. You got it. There we go. Sorry, I saw the hand and thought, is that something I should get first? No. No, it isn't. Yeah, that's second. Okay. Could get this guy this turn, but it's not worth it. These two are going to take out this guy, not this guy. Oh, I should have scouted. Duval had a an eye on something there. 
So we'll grab this. Three Kingdoms Black Tea. Three Kingdoms is China, is what I've learned from uh, Total War. Probably check out the open rooms before we cross them as well. Does not look like there's anything happening in there. This guy obviously has to be arrested. Hands where I can see them. And pick up the photo camera. I feel like we're stealing from the artist guy now. Not from the criminals. I mean, I'm okay with it, frankly. You know, we're owed a little bit of cash. But still, I feel a little bit bad. Alright, end the turn. There is a guy in here, if I remember rightly. So one more turn away from doing anything, but here it is. All right, we can now make our move on this guy. As long as we can reach, actually. Oh, which is not something I checked. Probably if we stand in the door. Oh, she has a knife, idiot. Right, we're not doing you. Get back. Okay. Need one more baton. Remember that. He can get there next turn. And we wait again. Been a lot slower paced mission this one than in the first... Uh, the first real mission that we got our hands on. Got it. Whack. We are going to scout out this room. No one in there. So Rogue can push up to like here and we'll be ready to take out the guy in Got this room. Got a visual. Yep, I know. Although actually, again, she has a knife. So we're not obviously going to use her for that. But Roger. she's there. Whack. And we only have one more room to do, really. Understood. I've checked every other room. What I am going to do before any of that, though, is move this guy to here and move who are you, Panini to here, just so that if there is a line of sight made there, uh, it won't get him spotted, obviously. Pick lock is available. Sweet. Got it. 15 XP. And there is something in here that we'll grab next turn. Got it. That the entire thing? Sweet. Done. No problem. Two more arrests. One more next turn. We'll pick up whatever's in there. And I, th I think we pretty much checked out most of the place. We haven't been in every room technically, but we've scouted every room. Maybe there's more valuables elsewhere. Maybe we should go and grab this with Rogue because obviously she can't do anything anyway without a uh, baton, so... I, I am so confused as to whether that's baton or baton in my head, and I don't know why. I just don't know why, but there you go, there's the arrest. Right, Bulka, if you could pick up the Chateau Prost wine. Nice. we got a lot of crap to sell, haven't we? Understood. Right away. This guy's going down next turn, and is that it? Is this going to be a 100% silent mission? Yes, it's 33 turns, but that, I mean, that's irrelevant, right? Got it. Roger. Can we get him this turn, in fact? Nice, is that it? Nicely done. There you go, the perfect stealth mission. It took a while. 31 minutes. Actually, that's not too bad. There was a lot of waiting around, but still, not bad at all. 14 suspects arrested, 6 out of 6 valuables. The perfect mission, my friends. All right, let's continue. See if we get any level ups. Yes, there's one for Henrietta Bulk. Uh, Henrietta Bulker, my bad. And we have either Patience or Black Knight, so we can either have, if the cop hasn't spent all his, in this case, her action points, she receives an additional action point on the next turn. 
or Black Knight. If a cop gets wounded in the arm or leg, she can still fight on until she bleeds to death. We're gonna go with Patience. That's far more useful, y useful for the way that I play. Uh, we don't, we haven't done a lot of carrying, so I'm gonna go with Speed to get it in line with the shooting. We're not a million miles off level six either. I mean, what I really mean is we made good progress into level five. Uh, and then Lionel Boone gets up as well, gets a uh, level up. So we either get Hawkeye, the cop starts seeing further, or Fiery Revenge, if the cop comes under fire, he can refer return fire once during the opponent's turn. Sure, Fiery Revenge is always good to me. And you should get a shooting increase since you're firing back. I don't know whether it affects that, but sure, makes sense to me. Michael Brickbreaker, level two, please. No, really? Mitch Panini, come on, man. You surely, oh! 970? Cagliostro, you made some arrests. None of these level ones are getting off of it. Alice Rogue won't have done because she didn't arrest anyone. Alright, street cred. Yay, minus one! Now we're only slightly disliked. We also found $390 worth of valuables, which will allow us to buy another baton. Uh, okay, so we made quite a bit of money selling valuables. Do... Do not want to share part of the take with... A, I, I feel like that should be, do you not want to share part of the take with the poverty-stricken townspeople who supported you in your hour of need? I want to give them 50% and get that street cred up to, we don't mind you. <laughs> there it is. And also an achievement in Into the Bargain. And we have another mission, but that is for next time. Oh, so that was just a side mission that we did. I thought that... so. The uh, yellowy-orange ones are actual missions, the blue ones are side missions. So we get our street cred back to normal. Next time we take on whatever the windmill is. But anyway, there you go, another episode of Rebel Cops. I've been Nathan, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!